just imagine you apply the sunscreen now on your face and then you start sweating imagine this kind of thing coming out of your face guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite girl blossom chewy and on today's episode i'll be giving a review on two sunscreens that i've made use of the first sunscreen i'll be reviewing today is the dr rachel anti-aging 60 plus plus spf sunscreen now this sunscreen has been making waves on tiktok on instagram on youtube i'll be giving my own honest review on this product but before we dive in if you're yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please support me encourage me subscribe to my youtube channel like this video comment and share there are criteria for a good sunscreen number one broad spectrum number two it should blend or absorb very well into your skin number three it should be water and sweat resistant number four it should contain an spf of 30 and above with these four criteria for a good sunscreen i'll be telling you if this sunscreen here dr rachel sunscreen meets up to the standard let's read what is written on the sunscreen it's anti-aging cc plus plus spf moisture sun cream it hydrates and antioxidants prevents the appearance of dark spots it has invisible finish that means no white cast sunscreen is a chemical sunscreen it doesn't leave white cast at all it is pretty decent for the price i noticed the period that i made use of it is it helps to fade away black spots on my face so this sunscreen somehow has hyperpigmentation clearing ingredients that would help to remove the signs of the appearance of dark spots on your face i made use of it for let's say about two months before i stopped using it and one of the reasons like the major reason why i stopped using this sunscreen was because it made me sweat a lot the reason why you're, you're applying sunscreen is so that you go outside the sun and you get protected from the sun right but once i use the sunscreen i notice that i sweat even before leaving the house and i'll just be sweating when i'm outside even when no one is sweating so that was why i stopped using the sunscreen so if you're the kind of person that sweats a lot this sunscreen is not recommended for you um this sunscreen is not water resistant also so if water touches your face or your skin or anywhere this sunscreen is being applied it's going to melt so you have to reapply sunscreen and those of you that always use sunscreen you know how difficult it is to always reapply sunscreen another reason why i stopped making use of this sunscreen is because it doesn't have a broad spectrum now what is broad spectrum it is the ability of a sunscreen to protect your skin from both uv a rays and uvb rays now how would you know a product that is broad spectrum it's either it's written on a bottle of the container broad spectrum or it has a pa value a pa factor that is pa plus or pa plus plus or pa plus 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 or it comes with four pluses so now the higher the pluses the more protection you get i don't know if you understand i'm going to describe it more on the screen so you get what i'm saying for this sunscreen right here it only comes with the spf number which is spf 60 plus plus meaning it will only protect you from uvb rays and it will not protect you from uva rays so in other words you're not going to get maximum protection when using the sunscreen so i had to switch this sunscreen to another one and after i stopped using this dr rasha sunscreen i got another sunscreen which brings me to the second sunscreen i'm going to be making a review on this is the skin aqua sunscreen mm. now this sunscreen is a japanese sunscreen um the description on the bottle is written in japan but i was able to like translate them so let me read what is written on the bottle Skin Aqua Super Moisture Gen for face and body, super waterproof sunscreen gel, SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 plus. And the ingredients are also written on it. I'm not going to waste time in reading the ingredients. 
yeah and that's basically what's written on the bottle of this sunscreen so now i wanted sunscreen that would do what the dr rachel sunscreen wouldn't be able to do after making research on the sunscreen to get i decided to get the skin aqua sunscreen and this skin aqua sunscreen like fulfills all the requirements for a good sunscreen it's way pricier than the dr rachel sunscreen though but it is definitely worth the buy this sunscreen is very watery in texture like you can hear the sound to show you how watery this sunscreen is it absorbs easily into my skin just like the dr rachel sunscreen the dr rachel sunscreen absorbs easily into the skin and this one also absorbs easily into the skin the number one reason why i love this sunscreen is because it is sweat and water resistant that means even if you sweat or even if water touches you this sunscreen is still going to be effective unlike the dr rachel sunscreen and i'm going to be proving it to you at the end of this video i'm going to do a water resistant test on both the dr rachel sunscreen and the skin aqua sunscreen so, so if you want to know the end result of the test please stick with me to the end of this video this skin aqua sunscreen is a chemical sunscreen and it is very suitable for oily skin if you have oily or combination skin type this sunscreen would suit you very well it has a slight alcohol smell but trust me the smell goes away immediately you apply this sunscreen on your face and it gets absorbed you won't perceive any smell at all the dr rachel has this scent i can't really tell what the smell looks like but it has this sort of pleasant smell but this one has an alcohol smell and if you are sensitive to alcohol avoid using the sunscreen because it's going to like cause you some level of sensitivity another reason why i love this sunscreen is because it has broad spectrum it isn't written here on the bottle broad spectrum but it has an spf number and it has a pa number it has pa not just one plus not just two pluses or three pluses it has four pluses meaning it is going to give you maximum protection against uv a rays and then the 60 plus spf means it's going to give you maximum protection against uv a rays against uvb rays sorry that means this sunscreen is going to give you like up to 99 percent protection against sunscreen overall and which makes it a good buy like it's a top notch and of course this sunscreen doesn't leave you white cast it's absorbs easily on your skin so i'll be comparing this to i'll be applying this to sunscreen now on my at the back of my palms and i'll be testing it for water resistance so guys this is the dr rachel sunscreen i'll be applying it on this side of my palm and i'll be massaging it all over my palm while well, this is the skin aqua sunscreen and i'll be applying it on this other side of my palm the dr rachel sunscreen is of a thicker consistency than the skin aqua sunscreen i'm going to leave it in for a while and allow it to absorb and i'll be back i am back um the dr rachel sunscreen has fully absorbed into my skin but the skin aqua sunscreen is yet to be absorbed so i'm just going to give it some more time to absorb fully before i come and show you guys the end result this one guys say hi to the viewers hi so, so let me show you the final look this is where i applied the skin aqua and this is where i applied the um dr rachel sunscreen now as you can see there is difference in the finished look a clear difference actually this gives you this shine or this glow why this gives you this um, matte finish i don't know if you can see them so but in terms of absorption the dr rachel sunscreen absorbs faster than the um faster than the skin aqua sunscreen and i believe that's because the skin aqua sunscreen is really really watery so it's going to take more time to absorb 
let's test these two sunscreens for water resistance i'll be right back guys i just applied water on these two sunscreens and see how the dr rachel sunscreen is melting you can see it right it's very visible it's melting that shows that it is not resistant to water or sweat so once you apply the sunscreen and water touches your face you need to go and reapply just imagine you apply the sunscreen now on your face and then you start sweating imagine this kind of thing coming out of your face let's go over to the other hand and see how the skin aqua sunscreen is reacting to water now this is the skin aqua sunscreen there is no can you see how it is nothing is coming out at all can you see unlike the one with dr rachel the sunscreen is still there the water doesn't affect the sunscreen at all and with a product like this even if you're sweating or water touches your face you don't need to reapply because the product still sits perfectly on your skin Personally, I will go with the Skin Aqua Sunscreen. Although it's pricier than the Dr. Rachel Sunscreen, but the fact that it gives you maximum protection from the sun, which is the reason why you're getting a sunscreen, right? And it, also, and it is also sweat and water resistant for someone like me that sweats a lot. This sunscreen here is definitely worth the buy. It is worth it. I'm happy I got it. And I will choose it over Dr. Rachel Sunscreen anytime any day another good thing about this um skin aqua sunscreen is that it is good it leaves a good finish under makeup so you can apply this then you do your makeup and it's going to feel fresh and smooth i can say same thing for this dr rachel sunscreen because it makes you sweat like hell personally it makes me sweat so imagine using a product that will make you sweat and then you're now making up your makeup is going to spoil it's going to get ruined so in order to avoid it don't use the sunscreen under makeup but you can definitely go in with this under makeup so we stand in the dr rachel sunscreen is a pretty decent sunscreen so if you cannot afford to get the expensive one you can go for this one at least it's going to give you some level of sun protection which is better than having no sunscreen on your face now before we go let me just give you a tip one tip to using a sunscreen it's best to use sunscreen with your vitamin c serum so once you apply your vitamin c serum the next thing that you should apply on your skin is your sunscreen and you're going to get the best the maximum protection from sunscreen and when you're going out during the day just apply your sunscreen there's no need to apply your moisturizer save your moisturizer for night and apply your sunscreen during the day with everything i've said concerning these two sunscreens which would you go for would you go for the expensive one the skin aqua sunscreen or would you go for the cheap one the dr rachel sunscreen Please share with me your thoughts in the comment section and we've come to the end of this video guys has been wanting to be featured on my youtube video so i'm bringing him here and he's begging you guys dear uncles and aunties please subscribe to my mommy's youtube channel i love you she is the best youtuber in the whole wild world subscribe to her youtube channel today like this video